From long, harsh winters to Mongol invasions, life for Muscovite peasants was tough. But they had one crop that was vital to their survival, rye. Moscow peasants relied on cereal crops more than any other food. To separate the grain from the straw, cereals had to be threshed with a flail. This tool could also be repurposed for battle. When the Grand Prince called upon peasants to serve in the army, they would have become armed with their tools of the trade, their pitchforks and their pikes, but chief amongst their weapons would be the flail. Farming crops in a land that was covered in snow for six months of the year was challenging. But rye was one crop that was particularly adapted to the extreme Moscow climate. The thing about rye is it's incredibly hardy. If you can sow it in autumn, it'll grow through the winter months, even with a covering of snow on the ground. Now, Russia is famous for its long, cold winters, but it also gets very hot and dry summers, and it's in those drought conditions that rye also thrives. And it's for that reason that a majority of Moscow peasants were growing this stuff. But they didn't get to keep all of their crop. The largest rye grains were given to the Grand Princes as tax while the rest would be used to make bread or malted to make a nourishing, non-alcoholic drink, kvass. It's super easy to make and, yeah. and, and cheap, really cheap. It's great for helping tired muscles recover and it's just quite refreshing and also helps control infections. Muscovite soldiers drank kvass as part of their daily rations. It's made by first adding ground malted rye to boiling water. After cooling, yeast culture is added, causing the mixture to ferment. This kills off any germs in the water. There you go. Around three days later, the kvass is ready to drink. The bubbles are really starting to come up now. Yeah. Just the yeast doing its work. What are the special qualities of this drink, then? It's essentially a probiotic drink. It has a lot of B vitamins, and it has lactic acid, which is great for recovering from hard labor. It's, it's kind of an ideal sports drink, really. And with rye so easy to grow, you can see how this was the sort of savior, if you like, of the, of the Moscow peasantry. The hardiness and versatility of rye was a lifesaver to Muscovites, both for peasants at home and soldiers on campaign.